This reading is from uh, Censored 129, How to Defeat a Conservative, Part 7, by William J. Eisenman, Ph.D. In the 1950s, conservatives perverted the legitimate role of government in trying to fulfill their mystical conservative agenda. Today we hear of abuses of power by those in high office, but it seems the vast majority of us just don't care. Many of us just want to have fun and party. Others have their noses to the grindstone, just trying to make a dollar to survive. Wilhelm Reich discovered why many of us act in these ways and why we are not naturally truthful and loving. In defending his work, Reich was sent to prison for two years for contempt of court. He died in prison. Wilhelm Reich was a victim of his times, like many great men and women throughout history. During the 50s, the checks and balances placed on our government by our Constitution were simply ignored. They were perverted and abused. Might makes right carried the day. These were not the best of times for truth-telling and free expression. McCarthyism was in vogue and an illogical fear of the Soviet Union held sway. Irrationality had many in its grip. It was a crazy time. When the FDA, the Federal Drug Administration, investigated Wilhelm Reich's Orgon Energy Accumulator, they found no dissatisfied users. Still, the FDA branded the device as a fraud. Recent investigations have found that the FDA works in close cooperation with the huge pharmaceutical companies with whom they exchange personnel. The FDA plays a tack dog for the large drug companies and their patented drugs. The FDA, the FDA tried to prove that Wilhelm Reich was involved in some sort of sexy racket. It also claimed that Reich said his organ energy accumulator was a cure for cancer. An honest court would have dismissed the Reich case. Even in the 1950s, the FDA had a hidden agenda, just like today where it wants to rid the marketplace of vitamins and minerals and any herbs that might compete with patented drugs. It was conservative medical, drug, and social interests that sought to destroy Reich and his work. Each enemy of Reich had his own agenda, but it is clear that neurotics of all stripes hated Reich and his work. In some quarters, Reich is viewed as a martyred saint, and his work is still popular. But in mainstream medical circles, Wilhelm Reich is merely a footnote to history. Many of the answers to much human misery can be found in Reich's work. As a result of Reich's crucial discovery of the function of the orgasm, we understand why the emotionally disturbed and sexually frightened folks at the FDA acted as they did. It is Reich's work that uncovers why people with bad sex lives turn to politics or corrupt agencies like the FDA. Truth never dies. Reich's work is alive and well today among a small group of enlightened individuals. Truth seekers and free thinkers need to study the life and work of Wilhelm Reich.
How children deserve to be raised according to organomic truth. The FDA and conservative American censors must never be allowed to keep this truth from us. In order to really understand these issues, it is necessary for us to learn much more about this man, Wilhelm Reich. He was born March 24, 1897, in Dobrosnica, in that part of Galicia that belonged to the Austrian Empire. His family was well respected and well to do. Reich's father was a brutal man with feudal ten attitudes, excuse me, and a violent a temper. Reich's mother committed suicide when Reich told his father about his mother's love affair with one of Reich's tutors. Reich's education was accomplished at home by tutors who prepared him to enter the German gymnasium at Cernowitz when he was 14. In 1914, Reich's father died of tuberculosis and Reich joined the Austrian army in 1916. He became an officer, seeing action on the Italian front. After World War I, Reich, Reich moved to Vienna and matriculated at the Faculty of Law at the University of Vienna. He later switched to the Faculty of Medicine and became, and soon, because he served in the army, he was allowed to compress six years of study into four and was awarded his medical degree in 1922. For the next two years, Reich studied psychiatry with Wagner Jorig and Paul Schilder. Reich also became a student of Sigmund Freud. It was Freud's libido concept that fascinated Reich and led to his formulations of bioenergetic functioning, the orgasm theory, and the discovery of the life energy, orgone. Working as a psychoanalyst in the 1920s, Reich came into contact with the miseries of the working class. He was working in Freud's psychoanalytic polyclinic in Vienna. In 1928, Reich became a vice director of the clinic. Reich developed tuberculosis and spent some time in a sanatorium, or sanitarium, excuse me, in Switzerland. It was here that he wrote Die Function de Orgasmus. In this work, Reich maintained that sexual energy periodically built up in the body and had to be released through the mechanism of the orgasm. If release was inhibited or not forthcoming, then this stasis energy would act as fuel for neurotic symptoms. For a short time before moving to Berlin, Reich opened a politically oriented sex hygiene center in Vienna. In the early 1930s, while working within the Communist Party, Reich sought to learn the social causes of neuroses. But by 1932, the Communist Party was repudiating Reich's work and ordered his literature withdrawn from their bookstores. They prohibited sale and distribution of his books within their organization. But they did not burn them like the FDA did. History is replete with examples that show that when a person stumbles upon a truth and then expounds it, his work is ridiculed, censored, burned, and many times the person is killed. Reich was such a person. In time, Reich's fellow psychoanalysts became upset with Reich's sexual politics and sought to kick him out of their organization. He was officially excluded in 1933. And in this same year, 
separated from his first wife. Reich moved to Malmo, Sweden in 1934 and built up his own independent organization, Sex Economy. It was not long before rumors began to circulate that Reich was crazy. While in Scandinavia, Reich studied biological pulsation in protozoa. He also discovered bions, a transitional form between organic and inorganic matter. And he conducted cancer experiments. The end. To be continued. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com.